Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on with my 2022 sunscreen roundup. And I like to do my roundup in May because May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and there's no better way to prevent UV related skin cancer than by using a sunscreen daily. The first video was all about our mineral physical filters. I will have that linked in the cards above and the description box down below. Today we are focusing on our chemical or organic filters. There are different chemical filters. These are called organic filters because their base is in carbon. Let's get right into the video. So the first one is one I actually just pulled out of my empties bin and this is the Inessa Perfect UV Sunscreen Skincare Gel SPF 50 plus with a PA rating of 4 plus. This sunscreen includes octanoxate, Juvenal T150, Tenazorb S, Juvenal A+, titanium dioxide, and oxybenzone. That makes this sunscreen a combination because you have primarily your chemical filters and you have the inclusion of titanium dioxide which is a mineral or physical sunscreen. Anessa is a Japanese brand. It is under the Shiseido umbrella and this does include a few sunscreen filters that are not used here in North America and those are Juvenal T 150 Tinosorb S Juvenal A plus. I cannot wait for that grouping of filters to be available here in North America because they are a lot more elegant on the skin and I don't find they sting or irritate my face or my eyes like our traditional western chemical sunscreen filters and we will talk about some of those in just a moment. For the most part all of the sunscreens here today are ones that are either from Japanese or Korean beauty brands. This one I really really enjoy. It does have a floral scent so I don't wear it on my face every single day. Towards the end of this bottle this was my go-to sunscreen for my neck and my chest and my back my hands dries down and it leaves a very hydrated dewy finish really really beautiful the retail price varies retailer to retailer and that's very common with a lot of asian beauty products so with this product i found it on style vana and i bought it for 46 dollars 43 you get 90 ml of products which makes this one of the larger sizes that we're gonna look at today and that is 52 cent per mil. It is available in two different sizes. I enjoyed this. It lasts a while. It layers well with makeup. Leaves a little bit of a hydrated feeling to the skin. It can feel a little tacky, but it grips on well to makeup, both liquid and powder. So I really enjoy this. Only downside is it's a little bit more pricey and it does have that floral scent. So if you're sensitive to floral fragrances, you might not enjoy this one. Now we're going to be looking at a more traditional Western or North America chemical sunscreen. This is one of my favorites. I've repurchased this several times. This is the Banana Boat Simply Protect Sport sunscreen lotion with an SPF of 50 plus. This once again is a combination sunscreen. So you have homosalate, octanoxate, octocrylene, and zinc oxide. So within that lineup, which is a lot more common for an American sunscreen, standout mineral ingredient would be the zinc oxide. This one, some people can use this on face. For me, I don't love this on my neck. I love this for my arms and my leg when I'm going to be exposing them to sunlight. And for me, I've used this on my face and this is what I experienced with this is very kind of on par for a lot of Western brands, but the chemical filters in this set my eyes on fire. Like my eyes burn and sting, but that happens a lot. And that's why I was quite reluctant to try out some of the chemical filter sunscreens from Japanese and Korean brands. But for the most part, I've not experienced the same reaction to those that I have with our Western SPFs. This is a fairly new bottle. I am using this on my arms and legs. So my computer desk where I edit my videos, respond to comments that is next to a window so I keep this on there so I can apply this on my arms or my legs whatever is exposed to the sun and I'll generally reapply this every two to three hours so a bottle like this lasts me for about a month and a half and I think I forgot to mention the banana boat sunscreen retails for nine dollars and 47 cent you get 180 mil of product and it breaks down to about five cent 
per mil, making this one of the best values we were going to talk about today. The next sunscreen is one I've mentioned on my channel, but I actually had to run and nab this from my husband's washroom. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus with a PA rating of 4 plus. This sunscreen retails for $20 for 50 mil of product, which breaks down to 40 cent per mil. This includes the filters Octanoxate, Juvenal T150, Juvenal A+, and Tenisorb S. This sunscreen is a very, very lovely sunscreen. I used it for quite a while, and the reason this is now kind of the one that lives in my husband's washroom is because it is very difficult to get him to wear SPF and he really enjoyed this. So I'm like, I will keep buying it if you use it. So this is the sunscreen that got him into the habit of wearing it more regularly. And he really, really enjoys this. This is a very lightweight gel water-based texture. It dries down, it leaves a natural matte finish, layers extremely well under makeup, and for me and him, neither of us experience any type of stinging on the face or the eyes. So, really nice one. The next sunscreen we are going to be looking at is one of my favorites. It was actually in my most recent empties video. I was trying to hold out on getting it, but I don't use a ton of chemical sunscreens on my face, but when I do, there's one that I love and I bought backup. So I have three new packages. The Can Make Mermaid Skin UV Gel. This is an SPF 50 plus with a PA rating for plus. This is in the shade 01 Clear. And there is another one, which is a Tone Up Sunscreen, which does have more of a brightening cast to give a more brighter skin tone. This retails for $17.51. You get 40 grams of product, which breaks down to 44 cent per mil, and it is in two different variants. This sunscreen uses the filters Octanoxate, Juvenal A+, Zinc Oxide, Titanium Dioxide, and Tenosorb S. So this includes both of our mineral filters, Zinc Oxide and Titanium Dioxide, and it has some different Japanese SPF filters. So this is really beautiful. It is lightweight on the skin. It is, the texture is quite similar to the Biore. It does have a little bit more viscosity, so it does feel a little bit more cushiony on the skin, layers well, under liquid, cream, and powder makeup, layers well on the body. The only downside is you go through this pretty quickly. That is why I will buy multiples at once, just because it's a great sunscreen and chemical filters, they generally have a 12 month shelf life. So if you're not gonna be able to use a sunscreen in 12 months, I don't recommend getting multiples, but if it's one that you use regularly and if you enjoy a sunscreen, you apply the proper amount, you should go through it pretty quickly. So I do get multiples of these, I love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. The next sunscreen is the one I'm actually wearing today under my foundation, and I don't know if I've talked about it on my channel before. This is a Korean sunscreen. This is Cell Fusion C Dermological Laboratory Laser Sunscreen 100, SPF 50 plus with a PA of 3 plus. I picked this up in what they called a special edition two pack. So I got two bottles for $49.64 and that broke down to 70 mil of product because each product, each bottle is 35 mil. That broke down to 71 cent per mil. So definitely even in a two pack, this is a little bit of a pricier sunscreen. And this uses the filters octanoxate, octosalate, zinc oxide, and titanium dioxide. So you have two chemical filters, two mineral filters. This sunscreen, absolutely love it. It gives you the effect of a pore smoothing effect. It does leave a little bit of a white cast. I would say it's about a two out of five on my fair skin tone. However, if you are darker and you apply the correct amount, I feel like this would leave a pretty noticeable cast. For me though, this makes my skin just look a little bit brighter and a little bit more kind of away and smoother. So I really love this. It does have a pretty noticeable floral scent and this might sound odd, it might just be me, but this to me almost smells like Miss Dior, which is a kind of classic Dior perfume. It smells like that. 
I don't love that scent, but I don't mind it in the sunscreen. And I really, really like it. Glad I got the two pack because I would definitely go through this because I'm just under halfway through this tube. So really, really enjoy this one. The next sunscreen I've been using is also a Korean sunscreen. This is from the brand Espoir. This is the Fresh Water Splash Sunscreen, SPF 50 plus with a PA rating of four plus. This is an all chemical filter with the inclusion of Evenol A+, Tinnosorb T150, and Tinnosorb S. This retails for $23.39. You get 60 ml of products, which breaks down to 39 cent per mil. Pretty mid-range in terms of sunscreen. This does have a thin gel-like texture. It does dispense with a green tint, which when I first tried it out, I was very excited because I thought it was going to have like a color correcting or redness tone up property. However, once it blends out, even with the appropriate amount or a reapplication throughout the day, it's pretty much clear that green cast does not linger and really have any type of impact. This does have more of a fresh floral fragrance. So this is almost has a slightly aquatic feeling in the scent profile. Layers well under makeup. It leaves more of a hydrated finish to the skin, a little bit of a tackiness. And I have to be careful with this one because I find it can sting around the eye area. For me, I use this a lot on my neck. And before I got the sunscreen I'm using now on my neck, this was one of my favorite sunscreens to use on my neck after I ran out of my Anessa. Really, really enjoy this. And I would say give it a go if you want to try it. For me, I really enjoy this. I don't know if I would repurchase this because I've got other ones I like to use on my neck, like my Can Make or one of the next ones we're going to be talking about. But really nice. I enjoy it. If you'd like to try it out, I would say go for it. The next one I want to mention, I thought I had it. It was in my last empties video and I recycled my empties container. However, I'm still mention it because it's a really lovely sunscreen. I'll insert a picture. Omi Verdio UV Moisture Gel with an SPF 50 plus and a PA rating of 4 plus. I really, really enjoyed this sunscreen. I really love the price point. Filters in this sunscreen were Octinoxate, Uvenol A plus, Titanium Dioxide, Uvenol T150, and Tinnosorb S. I liked that when this sunscreen, it dispensed like a thin, milky texture. However, I found it dried down to a soft matte finish. I loved this last summer in conjunction with my YSL All Hours Foundation. I was set for any type of summertime events I had last year, and it just gripped onto everything and hung on really, really well. However, one of my friends did try out that sunscreen, and she said she wasn't a big fan. I think she said it didn't layer well with her makeup. And with most things in life, everything, our opinions are very subjective. And just because something works for me does not mean it's gonna work for you. So that's something to keep in mind. But for me, I really enjoyed it. The Omi Verdio sunscreen retails for $15.19 and it came with 80 grams of product, which was 19 cent per gram, which made it one of the more affordable sunscreens for sure. So really enjoyed that. I would reconsider picking that up, but I've got a few others that I like just a little bit more. And for me, the one that kind of knocked that out of my need to repurchase it right now was my Can Make Mermaid Skin UV Gel. The next one I will talk about is something that I really, really love. And that is my Roto Mentholatum Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel SPF 50 plus with AP rating of 4 plus. This uses Octinoxate, Tinnosorb M, Uvenol A plus, and Tinnosorb S. This sunscreen retails for $20.81. You get 110 grams of product, which is about 19 cent per gram, which makes this very much on par with the Omi Verdio sunscreen. I love this. I posted a YouTube short about this last year. And for me, I was using this on my face and neck a lot. And then I decided to switch back to using pretty much all mineral sunscreens on my face, just because I was getting some redness around my nose and my chin. And then when I switched to using primarily mineral sunscreens that eased up for me. So I started using this on my neck. This kind of got put on the back burner 
But now I've moved this to my bag. So this is the sunscreen I use when I'm out and about and I need to refresh the sunscreen on my ears, neck, or hands. So really like this, very hydrating, dries down. And when you're driving, this doesn't leave a kind of greasy feeling on your hands. So it doesn't get all over like your leather interior. So really love this one. And the final sunscreen we're going to talk, it's also by the brand Roto Mytholatum. And this was actually suggested to me by one of my fellow YouTube creators and a very dear friend of mine. Her name is Lena. Her channel is Lean Allure. And she said before, her kind of all-time favorite holy grail sunscreen was the Roto Mytholatum Skin Aqua Tone Up UV Essence. This is an SPF 50 plus with a PA rating of 4 plus. Tone Up products are very popular within Asian beauty, both within East Asian beauty and South Asian beauty. Tone Up normally means for brightening. Here in Western beauty in North America, we would almost see these as color correctors. This one in particular is in lavender. Lavender is great for neutralizing any unwanted yellow tones or sallowness. I use this on my neck because my neck tends to be more kind of yellow, beigey, sallow than the rest of my body. So this with a little bit of a lavender cast helps to really brighten this up and bring it more in harmony with my face and my body. This sunscreen includes the filters octanoxate, titanium dioxide, juvenile a plus and Tinisorb S. This retails for $16.59. You get 80 grams of product, which breaks down to 21 cent per gram. And it is available in four different tone up or color correcting shades. When I placed my order, I generally, since meeting Lena, she has never given me a beauty suggestion that I did not fall in love with. So when I was looking for a new sunscreen for my neck to help brighten it up and make it more balanced out with the rest of my body, I had a feeling I was in love with this sunscreen. So I did buy three bottles all together. I was able to get a great discount on Stylevana. And if you want to get a little bit of a discount, I am a Stylevana affiliate. So you can click the link down below and then use my code, which is ZachD. 22 all capitals 22 and i think if you use it with the link in the description box if you put those together then you get between 10 and 15 percent off i'm honestly not quite sure you save money and i get a little bit of a commission off of it if you decide to use it so that will be in the description box down below but really like this and with stylevana you get some great deals I really, really enjoy this. This does have a light fragrance for me. It almost smells like peonies and it's almost like a powdery peony scent. I really like it. For me, it reminds me of the flowers that my Grammy had around her mailbox when I was a kid. And it just, it smells like spring. I really like it and it doesn't linger. So this is really, really nice. And I have tried it on my face. It did not sting around my eyes. However, where my face does have more ruddiness, it's pinky ready combined with the lavender tone to this. I looked pretty like, as my husband said, I looked like Kirby. I was very, very pink. So for me, not the best one for my face, but I adore it on my neck as it that gives me the result I was looking for. So really love this. And if you want to neutralize some sallowness in the skin, highly suggest this. Alrighty, so that is going to round up all of the combination and chemical only sunscreen that I tested out over this past year. I really, really love a good chemical sunscreen, especially for areas like the neck, the ears, the hands, things where I don't want them to feel greasy. I don't want any type of cast that can translate or transfer onto my clothing. It's just, they're very easy sunscreens to apply. And especially at that two milligram per square centimeter dosage to get the sunscreen on the bottle with these formulas being a little bit more gel based, a little bit thinner and not having that white cast or that weight to them like a physical or mineral sunscreen. It's just easier to apply them and reapply them if you're on the go. So I really love them and they have a very special place in my routine. If you have tried any of these sunscreens up, I would love to know your thoughts in the description box down below. And if you have a favorite chemical or combination sunscreen that I didn't mention here and you think I should try out for next year's video, let 
me know in the comments down below. Share this video with a friend that you think might enjoy this, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care wherever it is you are in the world, and I will see you later. Bye, y'all.